Hi, everybody. My name is Edward Tan from Cheetah Stan. Uh, this live show I was supposed to do uh, earlier, but I apologize because I'm so busy. Actually, this is not a Q&A kind of session. Uh, I'm going to do the live show. The uh, I, I did not organize what I'm going to talk. I do the best I can. So, so forgive me if I do something mess up. Okay, first thing a lot of people want to know, the new... Uh, X Pro for Canon. I want to say this information is X Pro Canon's already in the final production. I do not have the sample. I believe Rob Hall will have the sample also. That's in the United States, also in Australia. Elvis may have to hand on review. Right now, I just uh, send some information I know of. Okay. I I do not have X any XT32, but X Pro is to replace XT32. And uh, it's more advanced future, everything you guys can pretty soon find out on Rob Hall's, Rob Hall's uh, uh, review. What I want to tell you the difference is, uh, this not replace the X1, because X1 still have his own place, okay? For example, you put the X1 on top, you're able to use a third party, for example, Pocky Wizard, or, or possibly the Einstein, the transmitter on here. So you can use this to to use the, the button X1 to control all the Goldas 2.4 gig capable flash. And on this one here, you can control the other, uh, this just for example, any other kind of transmitter, you can the, the fire the other one uh, with the, the not the same frequency as the, as the Goldas one. Also, when people have used, uh, like for example, the Canon flashlight or Fortex or any other, okay, on the Canon Nikon, this hot shoe have the pass over, okay? So you can put on top of the X1. So you can fire this still on top of the camera. Also, the button, this X1, allow you to control all the 2.4K capable uh, Goldust unit, okay? This is just uh, the main difference. The, the whole point is, X Pro Canon is not to replace the the X One. X One still have its own place, okay. And then XT Thirty Two Pro is to replace the XT Thirty Two. So far as I know of, X, X, XT Thirty Two only have a Nikon and a Canon. So when the X Pro Canon gonna come out first, followed by Olympus, Panasonic, Fuji, Nikon and the Sony. Uh, I'm not quite sure about the Sony, but based I, I know I talked to the owner of the Goldust. Yes, there's in the plan. All this can be gradually come out uh, by the end of this year, if everything goes smooth. At this time, I decide uh, at the Cheetah stand, we never carry the first batch of any new product. We want to make sure prove it. So those for people want to get first hands up, you can order from Amazon, that kind of should be uh, pretty soon they will accept the order. I believe in the beginning, the price will go for $79, but I believe later on gonna be $69 on the X Pro. So the current time, Cheetah will not carry this. You can order from BH or the, uh, the, the Amazon. You can order Amazon Prime for the Gold Dust brand. I highly recommend because the BH is pretty smart. They don't do, uh, they sell, right now they sell gold dust bread. That's the way to go, okay? Anyway, that's about the, uh, uh, that's about the X Pro. I, I want to let you guys know. And then Rob Hall, Elvis should have a pretty soon the hands on. Okay, anyway, uh, since I'm talking about transmitter, also I want to mention something, okay? To me, I like this a lot. And the original, this is original, uh, the Canon, the, uh, not, I'm sorry, the original, the Cheetah Live, 433 hertz. This is 2.4 gig, okay? And then, uh, this is a 2.4 gig, you can do that. And then this is very easy, uh, very, very helpful, but easy to use. And for those people still owns the uh, original, the 433 hertz, unit uh, without TTL high fixing and uh, I recommend uh, use this uh, CLTX. We have the, this CLTX with this device. For example, 
you can use this on top of the camera to fire. You can use this, right? And then, but how about if you have other speed light, you need to put on top of the camera, that's what you do. You still can use, for example, I use the Canon 5D, you still can do the TTL on this, but you don't have another hot shoe. That's why we, we, we make this. That CLTX, you can plug in on this side, and then use the rubber band or some of the Velcro tape on here. And on this side, the PC screw lock sink. On the side of the camera, you will have a PC lock plug in. So this one, you can use this brand with your camera, you still can use this control, your 433 hertz, the, the gold dot slide. Okay, this will only have, uh, don't have much uh, the quantity left. You can order this, but I have to let you know, I, so far I know of this to not work on with the Nikon D70. I don't know what the heck with the Nikon, why they don't make a D750 with the sync port here. They do not have it, so you cannot use this. And also, all the D70 users, I have to let you know, they have some the hot shoe. I don't know why Nikon make a D70 hot shoe slightly different than all the other Nikon. I don't know why. Okay, this is about the transmitter part I want to talk about. Sorry, since I've been in the mess, so uh, so I, I just want to take this out. I want to explain to you guys some other things. Let me put this away. The other thing, <laughs> I want to talk about this line. Anything plug in like this tube, okay? Make sure don't take it out. I don't trust every time you you you, you put it in and take it in and take it out. Once you gotta stay on there because in the future once you plug in, you take it out loose, gonna contact and loose. And if you lost this, okay? R Ruben, make sure we're in focus. Are we in focus, right? Okay. <coughs> make sure you put this up. This is a must, okay? I have to say something. This is a shame for this part. This light bulb, <coughs> this light bulb here is capable of a 600 watt. The capacitor inside here is capable of 600 watt. Due to the light bulb in the wrong position, okay? And then this cannot produce a 600 watt. To me, it's only like a 500 watt. The reason this light bulb should be extend more, about a three quarter inch. And me and Scott, we try to make one, the, one the, this we make for 360, this extension to make a higher, taller, but we decide not to commercialize because if we make that, you know, for making extension, people plugging wrong, they're gonna damage your unit. So we don't think it's worth it. So this bulb should be a little bit farther off in order to get a full potential of the 600 watt second. Let me tell you why. I don't know if you guys still remember or not. In the beginning, when Goldust first introduced the 600, they have a Bowen mount. They also have a proprietary called the G, Goldust mount. They make the flattest the possible the spear, the spearing insert to make sure the bulb can extend more. Eventually, they know about this. We talked to them about this. Since the Goldust mount proprietary is not very popular, uh, uh, very popular. So, <coughs> excuse me. So I don't think they still make that available. So I uh, I, 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 I spend some time and uh, do some study. I'm gonna introduce, let me show you guys. See all this mount on the bow mount, okay? See the profile. On September 25th, we're gonna start shipping this. Look the profile difference. Look here, there's two. I'm saying, <laughs> you see the difference here? Okay? This one only designed for 600 life. For the 600 user, 60, six inch. Spearing insert, 152 millimeter. Once you put down there, oh no, this bulb a little bit outside a little bit more. Just want to let you guys know. And talking about this uh, six six inch one, 
52 millimeter, the spearing. Uh, I have to mention about something else. Okay, let me put this away. Let me have to take this away. Okay, since we have all different kind, this, the spearing in the market today, all different kind. About five years ago, I'm thinking, if I buy the posse bob line, if I buy some any other line, if they have uh, what we so called the uh, user replaceable spearing insert, but everybody make a different size. Pico make 134, Pico make 144, and make 152, like a six inch. So. I decide for now, I want to make it universal, at least on my cheetah product. I want to make sure all oh, there are six inch. And also, uh, okay, this is just maybe a little bit bluffing, okay? There will be side talk, okay? People don't understand. For example, this is a lantern. You can see the lantern in the market today, all made by my partner factory in China. But some other brand, I don't want to mention, they just want a car corner get a little, little bit less cost, okay. What I do first, this very important piece, removable, adjustable beauty dish. This is a must to have a lantern, regardless you use a bare bulb light or speed light, we have this. Second, if you watch closer, so far, I believe only Cheetah over the four sound screw. All the other people, they want to cut short with one screw and four Phillips screw. In order for people to easy, we make just not that much cost, you know, you just add a four sound screw that people are easy to replace. Okay, that's what we do on our side. Okay, we make this available so people can choose a Bowen. This is a real pole photo quality, the clamp type. We also have the low cost screw type for pole photo. You can change. We have a photogenic. And then chrome and posse bob. Okay, you want to make sure all cheetah quick series will come with a four sound screw for easy to quick replace. There we go. And I got a lot of people ask me, okay, your Co 45, your Snap 38 is only bow and mount. Yes, only bow and mount. You can find very easy on the Google for. Bow, for example, bow went to this, I believe this is uh, uh, Dynali or, or Dynali or something else. You can buy the Bowen to Dynali or Bowen <coughs> to Allen Crow adapter. But one thing you cannot buy, nobody makes that. I'm Posse Bob fan. About 20 years ago, Posse Bob made one mistake. They choose the Belka mount. You know the bell car mount, when you're mounting in the, in the, uh, in the uh, posse bulb light, you have those two clamps. Sometimes the uh, spring loose, the tension. If, uh, if some people back 10 years ago, uh, people using the Larson saw box, 48 by 72, they use a metal plate. Uh, I don't know how many people break the white lighting in light bulb because that clamp's not strong enough. They go break, okay? At this time, so far as I know, you can buy the Bowen to any other adapter if you Google. Okay, if I happen, uh, use a Bowen and then you have the Allen, Allen Crow modifier or other uh, modifier or pole photo, you can do it. But nobody makes bell car receptor because it's so hard. So if you own the Posse Buff light modifier, make sure to check. Some they fix, you cannot change. Some you can change. Some's 106 inch, 152, some's 144. But at a cheetah, all our stuff is 6 inch. And this will soon come out with a very, very limited quantity. You know, I make specially for Goldust 600 light. <laughs> if you use the our light, and <laughs> you see this, the, this one here, this low profile, thing only work for gold at 600 light will not work on the speed s bracket if you try to put the the speed line there okay or or 360 or 180 or 200 the reason is 
Yes, you look here, I can mount. But when this touch this, on the light modifier, the screw or something will block, so don't work. So if you plan to use the speed light, this will fit any speed light. Uh, all the speed light I know of in the market, plus 180, 360, and 200, but it don't fit Vivitar 283 and Vivitar 285 because the zoom head too big will not go through here. And also in the beginning, on the Cheetah's people S bracket, if you want to do 200 light, 200 X light, you have a modify yourself or we modify for you. But from now on, you don't have to, because all the current we're shipping is with this new rubber piece. This new molding guarantee will fit the 200 X and all the other speed light. So this will currently will offer. We don't offer the BKTS with 200 X anymore. Our standards people S bracket from about a one week ago, we already shipped old standard, can accept, uh, can accept because this is a new molding. This is not our car, this is from factory, the new molding, okay? Just wanna let you know. So, if you plan to use our line modifier with the Bowen, <coughs> you have to get this kind of Bowen mount. So in that case, since you can zoom, you can go, you know, uh, go in and out, so it will not effect. The only thing we make this, the, the lowest profile we ever made is only for Golda 600 light. Uh, we'll put down the side because I'm not supposed to do in sales on this presentation. So anyway, <coughs> we'll, we will have this ready uh, to ship around September 25th. Very, very limited quantity. If you own the 600, get this piece. If you have light modifier, the interchange, the insert, get this piece if they are six inch, okay? Now I'm finished with all, all the other thing I want to announce in here is the one. Uh, I haven't had a chance, sometimes I'm really frustrated because I, I sell my product, I designed everything, I make a difference, but nobody understands. Okay, you can buy everywhere. You can find this, uh, no, I mean this way, okay. You can buy this protection cap. This is the must for using the 200X. Give me the uh, flash tube also. And also with the 360. The reason is you don't want, as I say, on 200X, you have a two different head, right? If you're gonna use this more, if you wanna use this more, do not go taking, take this out, taking all the time. Just stick with it, okay? And this is a must. Okay, oh, I have to lose this, I'm sorry. Okay, to travel with this, do not take out the head. A lot of people have problems on the back, say the flash is zero. Let me also explain now what that happened. Once, very obvious, you drop it. Second, because you did not push this head, you know, in, inside, how, how to say, you did not push this insert lock tighten. Second, you're doing a lot of taking out, taking out, taking out. So I recommend if you mostly use this 200X light with the bare ball, get this piece. But if you're gonna use, <coughs> how to say, if you're gonna use the, uh, the speed light head lock, not this one, so everywhere else you can get this but only from Cheetah you get this. I can cut this off. Okay, just regular plastic bag. Put in here. Okay, watch me. And twist it a little bit and put it on here. <laughs> Where the only one offers this end cap. This little thing, but it's our thinking. The reason is a lot of people buy this, put this in there, oh, they're shaking. So some very smart people put a form in there. I don't recommend putting any kind of form because if the form have a drop little piece inside here, next time use the light bulb, the heat will melt the form. So I do the basic duty way. Just use this. 
couple things. First, you do this and twist this. Put down here and close the cap. Also, use a plastic bag like this. You can prevent prevent the water getting there. Okay, this one. Or you can order the one on Amazon anywhere you can buy this, but only at the cheapest stand. We offer this with end cap. So make sure. The reason, <laughs> the other reason we don't carry the 360 anymore is also for a lot of reasons. Ruben, let me have the 360. <coughs> this 360 line is very, very good. About eight, seven years ago, I'm the one, thanks to the David Freeman, we start helping Goldust design the first AD180. From now, you can see we have the, the 360 also have what's called a quarter 20 user replaceable base because hardly anybody put this on top of your camera because it's gonna be break, very easy to break your camera hard shoe. At that time, me and David Freeman pushed so hard to make this happen for all the 360 can have interchangeable quarter 20 base. <laughs> the reason <coughs> I do not do 360 anymore, Goda still makes this, okay? The first thing, too many stuff can make this wrong. First, if you did not push this ball firmly, and you try to use uh, uh, the standard five inch reflector to travel, and it will cause this loose, okay? That's why I highly recommend when you travel, use this protector. When you not travel, Take it out, put a protection tube. But the point is, so many things can go wrong whenever, whenever this is the contact part, okay? You make sure you don't plug in, plug out. It's also here, the power cord. Some people plug in, plug, take it out, plug in. Any I don't trust all those things. You know, constantly take it take out. And then, you know, that's what I say. Don't travel with this. If you want to travel, travel with this, okay? And the other thing I want to talk about is, Ruben, if I can have a 2.75 meter extension and the power cord for this, okay? Is this plugging? A lot of people plug in the power pack and they use the, the, the standard, you know, coil, tie the power cable, plug in the, your battery, and they stretch too long. Ah, don't do that. You know, what this will cause you happen is, when you plug in that part, you will cause the wire loose. If the just power brake break, it's okay. Sometimes it will damage or burn the main board. Sometimes they will make damage what's called the, ay hey, yeah, yeah. Cause the battery connector get a short, okay? So, use the standard at the coil, power cable, do not stretch too long. I, I only have like a, maybe a 50 sound lab. Uh, I don't know if the Ruben can find it. It's called a 2.75 meter. Uh, uh, what's called the, the extension? Can you find that? Mm -hmm. Can you find one I want to show people? Yeah, you can go from this side. Go from this side. Okay, sure. And this is for the 360 I want to talk about. And uh, well, the other thing is this, okay? I want a 2.75. Let me have this one here. Thank you, Ruben. See, this is a power pack you're plugging, right? Do not, since Seeing this thing, without the, the battery, you can operate. So don't unplug, plug, unplug this all the time. Just leave there. And this more stronger, better DIN plug. You can plug from the power pack. Okay, but leave this one there. And then do not stretch this. That's why we make this extension. Okay? This one, when you work this on the boom arm or something, you want the longer, this is one to go. We, we only have, we don't, we only have, probably only have 50 some left. Once again, I, I did not plan to do so. I just tried to, in, anything I can think about, I start let, let you guys know, okay? This is about the, the, the lights and uh, thank you, Robert. And then right now I want to talk the other thing. We have the seven inch reflector. I have to say, 
This is the best in the market today. There's a couple reasons why. This is a gold dust man. Come with some package, come with this. Let me tell you, you might as well don't use this. I have my reason, let me explain to you why. They designed this rock, okay? You're not gonna get the max, maximum output of your light. Also very important, you see this lip here? You see this here? This is our great set. 10, 20, 30, 40. By the way, we make this for both of us. The great purpose is to narrow down the light. But some, the reflector, they not design right. When you post this screen, you will see this one here. Will leaking the half moon. I don't know you got know what I'm talking about. You will leak the half moon because it's not tight fit. So this is the best seven inch reflector in the market, period. Okay? And will fit this perfectly. And also let me tell you, since I talked about the grid. People, you buy seeing people put a 10, 20, 30, 40, whatever, like this says, say 10 degree. The way to tell what's a grid is, look at my face. Okay, you put right on you, and then you turn. Wait till you completely block, okay? And then they say this is the this horizontal line. The way until, when you towards the line block, and this angle is how many degrees that is. Take a look at the difference, it's 40 degree. You have to turn a certain way in order to get out, okay? Ah, this is 20 degree. See? This is 30 degree. So remember, when you're facing the light, you turn a certain way, completely block the light. This angle is how many degrees the grid are. Okay, this is about the grid. And also I want to talk about the other joke. Ever since we started Co-45, a lot of people a lot of people start making Co-45. What the biggest joke is to me, Co-45 is a 45 degree angle reflector. I don't want to mention who, but a lot of places selling with a 60 degree grid. Does that make any sense? Why you need a 45 degree reflector and stuck with the 40, uh, uh, the, 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 what's it called, this is a 60 degree grid and cut down the light, don't even do a damn thing. You got me? Okay. That's why we offer our whole 45 stop 38 with 20 degree grids. The 20 degree grids, we only have a few left. On September 20, I start September 25th. Based, based to a lot of customer feedback, we do not make a 20 anymore. For cold 45 and stop 38, for uh, 45 degree and 60 degree, and the, and the 65 degree the reflector, we make a 30 degree grid. That's what most people want. They say, hey, Edward, 20 is too narrow, so we listen. And we're gonna start over September 25th with a 30 degree grid. All right, that's for the cold 45. And don't, don't say this is really a joke, okay? 45 degree grid, 45 degree reflector makes 60 degree. The reflector, what a joke is that? All right. And also, there's a lot of thing I want to talk to you guys about is our bottle and color gel. Fitting here, four magnet attached. Four of them, okay? Anyway, it's just our barbell set. It's very, very good. Look like I'm doing some cells here. Also, Ruben, let me have the 200X bus. I talked to this before, I'm gonna talk this again. This is a nice looking case for 200X, okay? But once you get it, do me a favor. Just take it out. Throw, not throw this case away. Do not store this back in the light, okay? Use our gray case or use this when you travel or give to your wife 
when I travel, put their cosmetic and put your toothbrush or whatsoever shape. And when you travel, this is a good travel case, but not for 200X life. Okay? And the next thing I want to talk about 7 inch reflector. Why 7 inch reflector? We do not make a hole for the umbrella go to because it's totally joke if you use the umbrella with this. Unless, let's look about umbrella shape go to here, right? Let's say here. Only if you use 24 inch and this will cover the angle. If you use, for example, uh, parabolic 84 inch, 60 inch, this is center shape of the umbrella, right? You have the back this is so far away, this umbrella, in order for this angle to cover the umbrella. And then we'll lose the power. And then outside we need that you cause a problem, put a lot of stress on the center rod. You understand? That's why we have hop cap. Hop cap design. We custom cut a hole you or you can do yourself. I think Scott uh, already mentioned some people you can do yourself. For the 600 light, also for the BKTS. So what you do is, just think about this. If you use the 360, no, if you use the, uh, the 360 or 200X, even your speed light with the uh, people S bracket, you mount it on there, and this is for the, uh, the, the people S bracket, okay? The lined up, this will come out. You only can see the parabolic, um, this is the 100, I've seen it's 140 degree light spread. So your big old par parabolic is like here, right? And it's so close, so why go to cover the whole thing? Number one, reduce the stress of the center rod. Okay. Second, you don't have a backup this away, that far away when you use this. I, I don't know, you guys got it? Okay, this is one the hop cap. That's why we designed for. Alright? And the next thing uh, I want to talk about is this. This is our chopstick, hold this, this, this stuff. And uh, Ruben, can you help me hold this up? But well, all the people already ordered our, uh, our cheetah quick rice ball, 36 inch, okay? And uh, this is the offer of this. This is called, uh, I'm not gonna call it a dancing play. Maybe I'll call it, uh, well, yeah, I can call it a dancing play. Is this here? This is you, sir, uh, is good? You can show the whole thing, okay. We're we gonna start over pretty soon when I have time to post something uh, on my website, okay? With this one here, see the center rod of the quick rice ball? All you have to do is, uh, cannot see the hole, okay, here, okay? This is a rubber in there, you push down. You can make this as a beauty dish. The, the, the way to use this uh, quick rice ball or quick soup ball, okay? In September 20, uh, when we offered the, uh, the soup ball, all this as beauty dish as standard, okay? Right now, for the quick rice ball, people can order this separately. When you use this, you can use the salt, the, this box just by itself. Do not put any diffusion on there. If you want a softer, put a front diffuser. Do not use the second 16 Velcro tab, the second diffuser. It's gonna be too much. This one already deflect even out the light. Front diffusions make it softer. If you need to uh, use a grid, put a grid on there. Only if you want the extremely soft light, put the second diffuser on there. So it's gonna be so easy to take on location. All you have to do is not open, take does it just, if you use the front diffusion, just put a halfway and, and then all you have to do is take this out and then close it, okay? All right, thank you. Everybody. So that's what I know, all the quick series <laughs> with the second, second uh, diffusion, do not use that, okay? Only if you want the extremely soft. The front diffuser is already very good combined in with this. And uh, <clears throat> also on the, on the, on the quick ones, some the, I think the quick ones are already sold out. Everything gonna be back in star September 25th. Remember all the soup balls gonna come with this standard. Quick rice ball you can purchase separately, okay? 
if a possible, do not use the do not use uh, what's called the the second diffuser. I think that's uh, all about it. Is our battery almost run out, or Ruben? Mm, yeah, but uh, Nancy asking about when you have available uh, half cup. Uh, w this is not a Q and A session, but uh, I think uh, check our website. Already a set. We already start a set back on. Okay, so I, I don't. Uh, sorry, Nancy, I don't have time to answer the individual question. All the member can discuss. Okay. When I have time, I will answer the question. And then the other thing I want to talk about chopsticks. This why I have to talk to you guys about it. Okay. This is our cheetah chopstick. You put your rice ball in here. Look here. You adjust the focusing from outside the saw bar. So the saw bar is here, right? And then Take us a long time for me and the Anthony Scott, we discuss this, we try to make this. And uh, so far, I don't think who else offered this. The one you're able to find, this cut here. Very beefy, but look at this. This is just, to me, my opinion, sorry, this is just useless. Okay, first of all, it's on the back. It's in the front. This is saw box go this way. Whenever you want to adjust this, you have to go inside. <laughs> Does that make any sense to you guys? Okay? Besides, the front, they make it too heavy. And then, look at this here. You have to go inside. Remember saw box this way, you have to go inside, okay? And then, this, the full length on the back, only this much. You only can do all the way there, and then do here, that's it. Okay. Let me show you one more time the difference. In ours. Okay, on top of that, this old from outside the box. And also this hook, you can put the sand back. That's our chopstick different. Also, look here. Interchangeable, I call this a birdcage. Bowen, LMB, Posse Bath, Ellen Chrome, Pro Photo. What's it called? Yeah, I think that's it. And we can make all this. Just by changing this, you can use different light with our original rice ball system. So, the original rice ball, you have put the 16 rod. Yes, take about a two minutes to assemble, but <coughs> you have the benefit, you can use this. On the quick rice ball, you cannot do that. This is designed for location quick. You cannot you put this one there. Okay, so I'm so proud of the original rice ball. I have a thank to Anthony Scott a lot because we studied together uh, to make this and even have the zipper. Uh, I think we'll expand. This is a really rice ball with a zipper. When you shoot the head and shoulder, and shoot the close-up shot, you can put a rice ball. Let's say this is a subject head. Put it right here. But what you do, your lens will be blocked by the rice ball, right? And open the zipper, your lens can go through if you use a, a beauty tissue deflector that create a beautiful, beautiful light. We put the oldest in the sinking when it first rolled up, okay? <coughs> mention about this, I also want to mention about one thing. I'm a stereo uh, the, the stereo and the audio fan. I'm, uh, I'm using the vacuum amplifier, pre-amplifier. And let's put it this way. Back in 1960, 1970, there's a British made brand called the Quad. I don't know if you guys remember. Q-U-A-D. They make, a, I believe, the 405. When they make that amplifier, they make a 10-year process available. At the same time, at that time, Sansui Pioneer Kenwood. Okay, they can make, they make a one model. And then they have a certain knob. They already know that next year they can have the other knob. They don't want to push up. Okay, they only do current one. They say, hey, nobody has what we offer. So next year, they start new model, just add more function. Okay, that's exactly what that's do today. Okay, and, and before you just got the light, new model already come up. It's not right. 
Remember that quad. They make a one model last for so long. They put the everything they can think about it. That's good part. That I have to give this to Posse Bar. How many people today still using their original white lightning, white lightning X, X, XL 1600? They put the everything on there. I still have that. I use for 10 years. I never have the problem. 15 years. Okay? So my suggestion to Godox, if you guys watch it, okay? Do not roll out stuff so fast. When you roll out something, you make a big sense. I'm sorry, Goldust owner, a good friend of mine, but friends, friend, business, business. Okay? So that we probably, maybe too early to announce, I, I will have just start doing service in the United States for Cheetah Line. And then if you purchase from Amazon Prime or anywhere else, we charge reasonable parts, labor, and shipping. Okay, so uh, at this time, uh, that's uh, all I can think about it. Sorry about this, is such a mess. And I don't know what I'm talking about, and this has come on my mind. And I just want to share the inside information with you guys. Okay, X1, X Pro, Canon, Nikon, Sony, Panasonic, Olympus, I'm not going to carry until next year. I want everything to keep stable and depends on, okay? For those things, I think I don't want to carry. I want to carry some Goldust product that makes sense. I can have a chance to serve it. On all this transmitter thing, you can so easy order from Amazon Prime. Okay? Because this electronic thing, when they go back, they just go back in the first few years. You later on, after six months, oh, I cannot turn the power on. Let me tell you, 99.9%, .9 you drop it. Okay? So, $69, $79, $49, $45, you just get another one. So, so for now, Cheetah only going to carry the light. We believe in and we do service. And we start broadening everything. Our service, we can service all the light. We will later announce on, on our website. Hope you guys are understanding. So far, I, I like uh, the Gota 200X a lot. Right now, we... Uh, we are out of stock. I don't have any ETA date, so you can order from Amazon Prime with the Gold Dot Bread. I think it's much better. Or VAH with Gold Dot Bread. Okay? Also, I want to highly recommend one person. Please support Mo Lai. Michael Mowbray. Mowbray. I hope I spell his name wrong, uh, correctly. Okay? He response to your answer he's knowledgeable he's a professional photographer i want everybody support one more time mo Lai, michael mowbray yes he's my competitor but i want everybody support his business all right once again my name is edward tan i thank you for watching see you next time